What's going on, everybody? MC Andrew Love back on your screen and your speakers one more time. Thank you for tapping in to another edition of Let's Chat and Jam. And of course, I'm talking to, you see her right over here. She is on my left. That's your right. And that is my favorite artist. She's coming out of New York City today, right? New York City. Originally from Japan, but she's been in America and she's been doing her thing here, man. This lady here is multi-talented. I'm talking about she sings, she dances, she she writes, she she reads your fortune. I mean, this <laughs> lady here does it all. There's nothing Hito Star can't do. Yes, folks, I said her name. Her name is Hito Star. So welcome <laughs> to the show. Yeah, thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. And by the way, we're live on YouTube. And so, yes. folks, if, if you see any bloopers, this is where you're going to find them, right here on this live uh, interview. But other than that, there are no bloopers when it's edited. But so okay. on. Let's go. So, you know, Star, can you tell the folks what you've been up to? Oh, if, also, don't forget about the part where you have sung at the Radio City Music Hall. Don't forget that part. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Hito Star. I am a singer, dancer, actress, um, model, uh, astrologer, you name it. Um, I do all kinds of stuff. But um, I have my seven singles out now um, as a singer, songwriter, and um, I have a few music videos that I um put all my soul into it <laughs> and um, recently I've been performing uh, in different shows in New York City. Um, I've been in the city for uh, a long time, more than 10 years now, but um, I just performed at Radio City Music Hall as uh, Andrew mentioned and uh, that was for uh, this uh composer uh, from japan he's the most well-known composer for film music his name is uh, joe hisaishi uh, known for uh, animation movies by miyazaki hayao miyazaki so um i that was a huge um opportunity for me and i still can't believe it because i grew up with their movies and um uh it's just like dreams come true moment for me. And um, I sang a solo soprano in that show. And uh, I got selected as uh, four sopranos in uh, the show where uh, we were 100 singers. So uh, that was a great opportunity. I also got to um, coach Japanese in that show uh, to all these 100 singers. So uh, that was a great experience for sure. And uh, I will be performing at uh, Lincoln Center um, for this opera, Carmen, uh, next month. And uh, right now I'm doing everything at the same time <laughs> as I am that way since when I was like three years old. But um, yeah, I have this show and I'm still working on my new music, which are more pop, and dance pop, uh, house music, um, some R&B, and um, yeah, I have my uh, latest song, Prism, out there that uh, everyone loves and Andrew loves, <laughs> which is good. Yes, yes I do. I had, to, I had to chime in. Yes, I love that song, Prism. <laughs> I love that song because, well, it's a fast song. It's a fast-paced song. Mm -hmm. And I like how you sell, tell me that I can wear what I want to. Oh, you know, yeah. I, I can wear what I want to. I can do what I want to. <laughs> Go ahead, pray Madonna. Yeah, exactly. get your Get your groove on. <laughs> Don't be ashamed about what to wear. Wear yeah. what you want. Don't be ashamed. Get it. <laughs> it your life is like a prism. Get it. <laughs> Love that song, exactly. man. Yeah, that's the core message of the song. Like, Just do what you thing. want. Yeah. Life is a prism. Right. <laughs> it's not like what you think. There's different facets to life. 
Right, you don't have yeah. to be stuck on one thing. Uh, Andrew, you understand the song so well. I'm so happy because, you know, the song lyrics can be a little abstract, you know, but I, I, I feel like you really understand my message in the song. Ah, man, I can sit there and vibe out to Prism all night long. <laughs> And I can play it on repeat over and over and over again. And I can turn the song because I like it. It's it's a it's a positive song and, and it's just telling people, you know, just be who you are, man. Don't don't be afraid of being who yourself. Yeah. And, exactly. and enjoy yourself. Enjoy life because you only got one life to live. Mm -hmm. And and life is a prism, and it's not like what you think it is. It's not a one thing. Like Mm -hmm. You don't have to be stuck on one piece of life. You can yeah. move on to something else. That's true. Right, right, life right. It's a prism. <laughs> yeah, I wrote the song for everyone to feel like themselves, basically, you know, no matter what they got, you know, no matter uh, how you they were born, you know, and um, like to be stuck in like whatever the society thinks or like other people think is like a really thing that i don't like and um but you know so we can be there sometimes just to try to do good things for others so i wanted to write this song to let people know that you know you, you can shine as you want and especially with fashion but um like whatever you do you know you shine so yeah that's the message <laughs> So what did you feel like? Did you get invited to the Radio City Music Hall? What is it? Did you get invited or to the Radio City Music Hall? Did they, did they call you up and say, hey, Hito Star, we saw your performance the other day. We liked what you was doing. We want you <laughs> to come out to Radio City Music Hall and do uh, your thing on our stage. How did it all work out? So this one is uh is for this company um for a group um that I've been in for a while. It's a choral group. So uh, it's part of their um I mean we, we, we were asked to perform and uh, that was an option, you know, if you wanna do it or not. And I definitely wanted to do it. So um, I was there and the part that I got the solo is very rare because I, I, I didn't know I would get the part because I, I, I didn't really consider like, you know, <laughs> like the best in the hundreds of singers, but then it um, somehow I got the part. So um, yeah, I, I was really happy about that. Well, you are a one of a kind. <laughs> you are original. So of course, you got the solo part. It makes no sense. It makes, it makes perfect sense. So don't think that you can't get a solo part at Radio City Music Hall because you feel like you're not one of the best singers. It's not about the best singer. It's about perception. It's about mm -hmm. what people see. And you provide that comfortability. Like when people see you, they get comfortable. People get comfortable around your presence. People uh -huh. are comfortable around you in general because okay. you are a sweet person, a nice lady who's got a great head on her shoulders, very intelligent, and you are the real deal. Like you are the McCoy. Like there is no other Hito star in this world. There's only <laughs> one of you. So folks, let me just say this. Don't go around looking for other artists that remind you of Hito Star because you're not going to find one. There's only one Hito <laughs> Star, and you stare at her right now. Who the phone is Hello. ringing? Hello. Sorry, there was a scandal in the phone. Put yourself uh, on on uh, on. You can't. Yeah, do, you do not disturb. Do not do disturb. Not disturb. <laughs> Go write the voicemail, people. Yeah. yeah, but people like what you do, what you do, man. People are digging the vibes because you're a really cool person. Like you're, uh, you are one of a kind. There is no one like you on this in this planet. Like you broke the mold when you were born. Like seriously. <laughs> Thank you. God knew exactly what he was doing when he brought Hito Star into this world. <laughs> because you, you have been a blessing 
for a lot of other people. Thank you've been so a much. blessing for your parents, mm -hmm. and they're still proud of you to this day. And you've been a blessing for the people in your town, the people in your city, the people in your country. And then you came here to America to, to really find your dreams and to follow your passions. And you've done that, and you're doing that. And people here in America like you because you're comfortable. It's like <laughs> I see Hito Star, and I feel like this lady here, she's the shiznit because she's real. Not very many people in this industry are real, mm. but you are. And that's what makes you stand out from your counterparts. Or that's what makes you stand out from some competition is that you're a real person. Like people who can actually talk to you and have a conversation with you. And it's a cool conversation because it's two-sided. It's your side and their side. So everybody's having a conversation. Hito Star. You are one of the best, in my opinion. And you're getting better and better as time goes on. And the more you get in that booth, the better you get. And the more you, you do things, the more you model, the more you dance, the more you do everything you're doing, you just get greater at it. And I see progression in you since the first day I met you. And I'm very proud of you for your work ethics. Because that's all it is, is work ethics. Your work ethics are on point because you don't quit. You don't give up. You have tenacity. You have drive because you have a vision and you want that vision to be in fruition. And I'm telling you, it's coming there because you keep doing it. And I'm digging the vibes. So thank you for your hard work. And thank you for being vulnerable to us, the public, because that's what you're doing. You're vulnerable. You put yourself out there and hoping that people will take a liking to you. And you do, because like I said earlier, you are an entertainer all the way around. And everything you do is entertainment. For example, you like to dance. People love dancers. People need dancers. So what do you do? You dance. That's <laughs> entertainment. People love watching people dance. I don't know understand it. Why? Why do we like people to dance and move around and make wiggles their butts? in their legs and their arms and stuff. What is it about it? I don't know, but it's it's <laughs> entertainment, so we like it. I guess because some of us can't do it. So when we watch other people do it so effortlessly like you do, it's like, wow, that is dope. And then what else do you do? You sing. You song write. Maybe some songs you don't sing for yourself, you give it to somebody else to do. But most of the stuff you do to yourself and you sing. People like singers. So people want to hear you sing. They want to hear they want to hear you sing opera. So you sing opera too. You are dope, man. And I'm digging the vibes. And I'm I'm thankful for Hito Star, man. I really am. Oh, thank you so much. I am so why are you still here in the flesh? While you're still here in the flesh, I'm gonna give you your flowers every time I talk to you. <laughs> you are so good at what you do. And you make me believe. You make me believe, man. That's why I have to listen to Prism over and over again. Because <laughs> you make me believe. I thank you for that song. And I thank you for your work ethics. And I thank you for your dedication to us, the people that are getting what you're putting out. The content mm -hmm. that you create is really good. And I, and I like watching your videos. I like watching... Everything you do. I love watching your Instagram because it's so entertaining. Thank you so much for everything you do for us, Hito Star. You are a wonderful person, a, a wonderful entertainer. Y your work ethic is so impeccable. And I believe that you're going to keep going and you're going to be famous. You're going to be world famous one day. Thank you so much. I really believe that. <laughs> I I'm, I'm affirming it every day. I'm, I'm visualizing, affirming it every day. <laughs> I'm telling you, in this time, in about five years from now, you should be in every household, and everybody should be talking <laughs> about Keto Star. And, and it's like, as soon as somebody says, like me, for instance, I go out there and I mention your name, Hito Star, somebody's going to come to me and says, you know Hito Star? And I'm going to say, yeah, I know Hito Star. And they're going to say, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. 
you don't know Hito Star, and I'm going to say, yes, I do. And then you're going to come on. I'm going to show him my interview with you, and I'm going to say, see, see, I know Hito Star. She's right here on my left. <laughs> and if y'all don't know Hito Star, then you're sleeping under rocks, and you need to get up under the, under the rock and wake up <laughs> and smell some coffee. Because the coffee is brewing wherever Hito Star is at. As a matter of fact, <laughs> she's on all platforms too, folks. If you want to tap into her music, or even if you want to tap into her, her, uh, uh, her telling your what's going on your astrology. If you want her to read your oh, astrology, okay. <laughs> yeah. you can find that on YouTube too. So if you speak Japanese. You're going to be awesome because you'll be able to understand everything Hito Star said. Because <laughs> yes. I went to that YouTube channel and I'm like, I don't know what the heck she's saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I um, I was doing that in English as well, um, which I should be doing more in English too. Um, but uh, yeah, for now, I'm doing uh, it a lot in Japanese because I most of my clients are in uh, Japan. But yeah, I, I will be doing it in English as well. Uh, so, like, Andrew, other people can enjoy it too. Yeah, maybe I want to have my astrology read one time, Hito Star. Oh, that would be great. Maybe, yeah. maybe I want you to go into the astrology books and look up Pisces and see what's going down with Oh, me. yeah, you, you're Pisces, right? <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one day you could say, Andrew, for all the love you and support you've shown me throughout the years <laughs> and all the dedication being my almost number one fan. I say almost because there's somebody out there who's just a little bit more of a fan than I am. Because a fan means fanatic. I'm not so fanatic. Oh, I, I mean, love your yeah. music. I love your music. But I'm not crazy. Mm. There's some people out there that are crazy. <laughs> crazy over a Hito star. And I'm sure <laughs> that you've heard from one or two of them throughout your time in America that you cannot get them to leave you alone on Instagram. Like you're saying, hey, leave me alone. I don't want to be bothered. I'm not that type of girl. I'm just an entertainer. Leave me alone. Let me do my job. <laughs> and then they don't want to leave you alone because they fanatics. They're like, no, Hito Star, you're the best. You're the best. I'm your number one fan. There's a <laughs> lot of these people out there, and you got to be careful on in the internet. Yes. The I've, internet been, I've been learning crazy. that a lot. <laughs> yeah. The internet is crazy. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you know, there's, only, there's I mean, there's real people out there you can find on the internet, but there's not very many. Because, you know, the internet, they hide behind who they are. They really, they hide behind the internet. Like, mm -hmm. you can't see who's making that comment. So these guys are brave. They're gusto. They make the comment themselves, you know, because, well, they feel like they're big. But they're just a little tiny person. All I know is this. Forget those haters, man. When you hear <laughs> haters talking crap, they're only talking about themselves. Right. When they put you down, they put themselves down. Right, right. They just don't, they don't do it because they're too cowards to face themselves in the mirror. So they go on the internet to try to make somebody else feel bad mm -hmm. because they feel bad themselves. Right, Needle right. Star, you are the shiznit. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. And you keep believing that. So when we leave here at Let's Chat and Jam, you go home. And you feel like a million dollars because you are a million dollars. See, your worth is priceless. You are priceless. <laughs> you can't put a price on Hito Star. How much going to cost for Hito Star to come to Syracuse? I can't tell you that. That's priceless. <laughs> I can't get mad because you say your price because that's how much you're worth and that's how you feel your value. You're worth as much as you believe is your value. That's how much you're worth. Mm -hmm. How much you believe in yourself? Do you believe that your NFT is going to be a, worth a million dollars? Well, if that's what you believe, then that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Hito Star, I'm glad you came to the show. I didn't mean to talk so much. <laughs> that's all right. I think the last time we spoke, you did a lot of talking. Okay. You was in Japan. 
tell us a story about you being in Japan, where you come from. Um, story of my, uh, like growing up. Give us, give us a story in, while you're in Japan and mm -hmm. you realize you want to do music. Yes. Uh, so I realized I wanted to sing and dance uh, early on when I was three, four years old. Um, when my parents took me to a musical, my first musical, and um, I sat there and watched the show, and that was just amazing that I kept crying the whole show. And um, at the end of the show, I told my parents, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sing and dance. And I felt like I received some kind of big energy from uh, the universe and i had a mission already back then i felt like i have to give this back to whoever who needs whoever needs it like to the world because this is just an amazing feeling so that's how i started really and it's been like that until now so that's really that was like a promise almost like a promise with the universe and I uh, I've been I'm just here to uh, fulfill the you know promise. Every time I do something, I might be sometimes tired or like you know angry or something, but you know I always come back to that moment and uh, I ask myself like, do I want to do this or not? Yes, I do, <laughs> because I'm here to you know give love and you know, um, give my talents to make people inspired and all the stuff. So that's been just the same since when I was little in Japan. And um, yeah, that's that's really like the core part of me. <laughs> now, what I respect about you, Hito Star, is you have not lost your, your, your you haven't lost anything from your home country. Like you yeah. still carry that pride of a Japanese citizen with you in your heart mm. and you carry that. And it's like, you, you, you're, you're just, uh, that's really dope. It's cause I love Japanese culture and I love Japanese people. I think you guys are amazing people. And Thank what, you. what the government did has nothing to do with the residents. <laughs> a matter of fact, that's, that's what all countries look at Russia, by the way, and how their people are trying to get away from there because right. the president over there is trying to get over 300,000 men in the military. And they're mm -hmm. like, no, we're not fighting no battles that you want to fight. Why are we even going over there? They ain't doing nothing to us, and we ain't doing nothing to them. No, not going to happen. See, people don't want to fight. We don't want to battle anymore. We just want to get along. Let us live our lives in peace and harmony. Let us just do us, man. Let me go out there and perform for the people without having to worry about getting shot from a stray bullet coming from the military guy. Let Just let me do my thing. That's <laughs> all we want, folks. That's all we want. And I'm telling you something. It's time for us to put away our petty differences. Just because I look one way, you look one way, don't mean anything, man. We all the same. We all have the same creator. We all have the same maker. And we are going to go and meet him one day. And there's nothing that we could do about that. The only thing we could do is get along with one another. And that's what I'm telling you, Hito Star, is that you are dope. You're a beautiful lady. You have a great heart. You're just an awesome person to know. You're like I'm pretty sure if we was friends, we'd be best of friends. So I'm saying... Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so oh, thank much you. For, thank for, you. Your, for your presence. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for us here in America because we are glad to have you here. <laughs> I know I am. I'm glad to be able to see you in videos, to see you on Instagram doing your thing, to see you at Radio City Music Hall making music. I'm so happy to see you doing all that because you well, are dope you so doing it and you look good doing it. You wear that shit well, man. You really do. And I'm so <laughs> happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. And I'll always be happy to see you for the rest of my life because I am a big fan Aww, of you. Thank you so much, Andrew. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something, folks. You can find Hito Star on all streaming platforms. 
I'm talking Spotify, Apple Music, Google, not even like Google, YouTube Music, YouTube, Deezer, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Napster. The list goes on and on because wherever the streaming going on, Hito Star is in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tell you something, this is your <laughs> second time or maybe this is your second or third time being on my show. Second time? Ah, oh, good question. I think third. I um I can't remember. <laughs> I, I can't remember either, man. All I remember is we talked uh, numerous times. Right. <laughs> so, well, since if, let's say this is your second time on the show. I mm -hmm. want to thank you for being here. And of course, you are always part of the Let's Chat and Jam fam, which means I don't have to, you, you don't have to wait for me to tap into you. You could tap into me and say, hey, Miss MC Andrew Love, I have a new song I got coming out. I got a new book that I'm writing or I wrote, or I've been casted into my next film. Whatever it is you're doing, Hito Star, it's important to me, and I want to know about it. So all you got to do is tap into my DMs on Instagram, or you can text my phone. You got my number. And you can say, hey, Drew, give me that interview. And, of course, I'm going to go grab my calendar, and I'm going to say, deal, you in the show. Let's go. And it just so happens that you are in the VIP because you're already in the fam. So when you ask me for an interview, you ain't got to wait. There's no wait list for you. I'm just going to put you in there and I'm going to say, yes, let's do this. But that's how easy it is when you're in the fam. And as you've shown everybody in the world, being in the fam, it's that easy. So, Hito Star, thank you for being in the fam. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. tell you something, folks. Hito Star is one of the best, illest artists I've ever met in my life. She can Aww. dance, she can sing, she can do your astrology, she can do whatever it is she chooses to do because she's that dope. So all you got to do is go find her. And this is where you can find her at. Hito Star, tell them where they can find you. Yes, um, I have my Instagram account where I have my link tree um link right there in the profile so there you can see all my social media uh links and um all the other stuff whatever you want to find me <laughs> um i'm on all different platforms tiktok uh youtube uh, yeah so find me on your favorite social media and I will be performing at Lincoln Center on October 25th. I got in as a special role in this opera. So that's where you can find me as well. Ooh, I can't wait. October 25th, folks. Yes, it's Opera Carmen. <laughs> yeah. So it's good. You're going to be doing opera. Yes. I'm going to be singing as a as a role called cigarette Ro a cigarette girl and um a cigarette girl right it's people uh, don't like cigarettes i i don't i don't drink i don't do any type of drugs at all <laughs> oh <laughs> so you straight edge <laughs> yeah it, uh, none of those things really work for me like i i got already so much imagination so much you know stuff that i i mean you don't really need to get high because you're never no, high. high let's let's put you're, it you're high off of life <laughs> life makes you high right i think so, going to the stage and singing in front of thousands of people gets you a rush <laughs> i think when you hear people say to you wow he know i didn't know you could dance like that what come on girl get that that makes you that gives you a rush because you feel good you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did really, my job i really don't really need anything like it, if i take any any kind of like alcohol or drugs it actually makes me like more dizzy it doesn't really work for me so you always... some folks and some folks alcohol and and type of like weed that doesn't work for anybody like some folks they just can't do it yeah and some <laughs> folks like some folks weed just makes them mellow Gets them throughout the day, 
gets them ready to take on life. And, and some folks it just don't just don't do anything, any of that for them. It just makes them feel crazy. Right. Yeah. So, so you're just one of the good ones. You don't need all that extra crap in your stomach or in your. No, intestines. not really. I, I need music for sure. Uh, well, music is a drug. <laughs> is a drug. Music is like a drug that goes in your bloodstream. <laughs> and, and like it just grows, goes in your bloodstream and it travels all through your body. And then through your brain, yeah, that's what it does up there. It releases, <laughs> it releases it the endorphins. It releases the endorphins, and you are all, all like, oh, yeah. Music <laughs> is a drug. Right. <laughs> it's not a gateway drug because music is the only thing you need to give you that fix. Right, right. Yeah. Especially exactly. when you're a music head, and you are that, a music head. <laughs> I'm I'm just glad that you're making music because you're really good at what you do, and I love it. But uh, I really love you singing in Japanese. I love that, man. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know how what you're saying, but I can feel it. Oh, like, that's great! Because it's in your native tongue, and and this is the language that you were born with. So the language that we're born with, we seem to be more passionate when we talk in our native native language. Like I know I'm passionate when I speak English and I know this is my first tongue, my first language. So, you know, I don't know any other languages. You on the other hand, know quite a few. <laughs> How many languages do you speak, Hito Star? I would say I'm, I, I speak English, Japanese. Um, I can understand Portuguese pretty well, Portuguese and um, uh, Spanish and Italian. See what I'm saying, folks? See what I'm saying? Where, where, uh, look, yeah, here you go. Pointing over there. See that? Hito Star is intelligent. <laughs> He's a world-class person, man. Period. Aw, thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming through the show, Hito Star. I'm That's sorry, but time is running out. It's running short. And I'm so proud to have you here. It's always great to see you. You're you're one of the kind, man. You're one of a kind. Oh, and yeah. you're an artist that I really like. Like people will dig your vibes. And folks, when you do tap in the Hino Star, these are the words that you're gonna say. Damn, MC Andrew Love, you did it again. You dang right I did it. You know <laughs> I did it because I know talent a mile away. And I saw Hito Star from a thousand miles. And I knew then, <laughs> this is that lady for us. I said for us, folks, because this here is, I'm sharing Hito Star to the world. So, uh -huh. world, I want you to meet Hito Star. <laughs> Hito Star, meet the world. Yeah. See, world, here she is. See, I share good things with people. I am a sharing <laughs> type of guy. I don't keep stuff to myself. So I knew Hito Star was talented, and I knew we was dealing with a superstar when I first met her. And oh, so I said to myself, <laughs> self, you can't keep Hito Star hidden in your brain. You have to share her with the people because that's what she wants. She wants to be shared with the people. So <laughs> I did that. I went out to the people. I said, people, people, this is Hito Star, people. <laughs> and you gotta tap in. You gotta tap in. And so yeah. what the people say, the people said, we're tapped in. We're tapped in. And they've been tapped in ever since. And so now <laughs> you folks, you folks, it's your turn to get tapped in. Here you go, folks. I'm giving you this opportunity to tap in the Hito Star. And when you tap in the Hito Star, you're gonna enjoy everything she does. Because when you watch Hito Star, you're gonna see that she's multifaceted. That's right, folks. She is not a one-trick pony. Her life is a prism. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I had to put that out there. <coughs> I'm glad I'm editing that. I'm going to edit that. But those people that are watching live or watching it on YouTube after this goes on there, you're going to see that in there. So I'm not taking that out. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> But thank you so much for coming through, Hito Star. I've enjoyed having you on my show. 
As I said, I wish I would have gave you a little more opportunity to talk. But next time you come on my show, I'm going to do none of the talking and you're going to do all the talking because I'm going to put I'm going to put the camera on you and let you have the whole screen to yourself. OK, Sounds and maybe good. you could come on and perform for us. Maybe we can do that next time we talk. You can have your phone or your iPad and you can set it up in a little something. You could be on a stage and you could be performing for us. Oh, OK, sure. That'd be something to think good. about. We can mm -hmm. figure out how to, how to make that work soon. Okay, but, uh, sure. Thank you for your time. And for those folks, and for those folks that uh, you have a dream, you have a goal, you have a passion, then go for it because only you could stop you and nothing beats a failure but a try. Peace out, everyone. And for those folks that are listening to us on Undiscovered Gems, stay tuned for the song Prism by Hito Star coming up right now <laughs> all right that's done <laughs>